welcome back. Today is part one of how to take a template of your horse. So if you're interested in learning how to take a template of your horse, e.g. measure their width, sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. Put this into part one and part two is because we were going to do them all together and I was going to show you actually how to measure on a horse but it started thundering, hailing and then snowing. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the light coming in from there but there's also bright sunlight out there so it's very confusing weather, I'm not sure what's going on. So because of that I'm going to talk today about the flexi curves. So we're going to talk about what we use to take a template of your horse and then in the week I'll do one where I actually take a template of a horse and that can be part two so you can see where to take the template and what they're useful for. Anyone that's had a saddle fitting before will be familiar with one of these. This is called a flexi curve. Sometimes it's come in this colour. I've even had orange ones before. The ones that I use are these. And I use, these ones are the 60 centimetres, they also come in 30, 40 and 100 centimetres. 30 is way too short, 40 is a bit too short, 100 centimetres is so long that you could wrap it around the horse 10 times. Nah, not really, but you know what I mean. So personally I like these 60 centimetre ones. So what do we use the flexi curve for? Well, a lot of people think that that's all that's involved in saddle fitting is measuring your horse and then finding a saddle that matches the template. So we put it over your horse and we have a template that looks something similar to that, for example. And people will think, oh look, I need to find a saddle that matches that. All this does is tell us the width or the shape of that particular point. It doesn't tell us anything else about the saddle fitting. So please don't think that having a flexi curve and measuring the width means that you know everything you need to know about saddle fitting because there's a bazillion more things. But these can be useful, for example, um, people that can't get a saddle fitter out and they've got one of those adjustable saddles with a changeable gullet bar and they want to find out what width their horse is, what bar to put in, they can be useful for that. But remember, as we've spoken about a million billion to a zillion times before, just because your saddle is adjustable in the width of the front, it doesn't mean it will fit your horse, that still has to be fitted. So when we think of like saddle fitting, we think of well, a lot of people think it's just like a do with the width and the length, but there's so much more to it than that. If that was all that there was to it, then it wouldn't take so many years to train as a saddle fitter. There was so much more to it. So the other things that we look at is we look at the width, and we look at the length. Yes, we all know about that, but it's also to do with the shape of the tree, the shape of the panels, the angle of the bars, the angle of the rails, the angle of everything. There is so, so, so much more to it than just the width. But knowing your horse's width can be really useful. So it can be really useful, not just from a saddle fitting perspective for people like me, but also from an owner's perspective, because it's really useful for you to know if your horse is changing shape. If they've put a bit of muscle on, for example, you think of where your horse has the saddle on and they can drop that little bit of muscle and like, oh God, is it coming back? And you see them every day and then your saddle fitter comes out after six months, they go, oh my gosh, he's really changed. You think, has he? Because it's less obvious to you guys because you see it every day. And in that situation, sometimes it can be really useful to have a flexi curve yourself and to be able to take measurements yourself. And if you keep a track of those measurements, it can be similar to doing like a weigh tape thing, you know, it could be part of your like regular routine. You know, you could do like a weigh taping and you could do like a flexi curve measurement. And at the end of the year, you could look through your monthly like measurements and see how much shape has changed. And you can see how much your horse fluctuates in weight and how that corresponds in terms of their shape um, at the front of the saddle area or the middle of the saddle area or the back of the saddle area. So the places that we tend to take flexi curve um, tracings, this is called like a tracing. So we tend to take them from the T8, T10 and T18. And they're the main ones that we take it from. We'll also sometimes use this to kind of mold along the spine to get like a shape of the withers. So, but we'll cover all of that in part two of this. Today's just about flexi curves. And to say that I think that you as owners would really benefit from purchasing a flexi curve yourself. Not to fit your saddle, because uh-uh, that's not happening, that's what we're for, your saddle fitters, but for you just to keep a record of their shape and their width and their muscle and everything like that. These can be such fantastic tools. So what one are you gonna go for? 
I personally like these. You can get them on Amazon. They're about, I don't know, 10 quid each. Um, I buy them about 10 at a time because as a lot of my clients will testify, I leave these behind a lot. You can also get these ones. Um, they're in blue. Now, I don't know if you can see, can you see? But like, that's really wobbly. Whereas these, I find, hold the shape much more. They're a bit firmer. There's not so much wobble to them. So they're lead lined. So you can get ones that have got chains in them and you can almost kind of feel the chains, clunk, the chains clunking as you kind of move it around. These have got lead inside them, I believe. Let me look. Doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you what it's got in it, but I'm pretty sure that they've got something like lead in them. They're lead lined and they therefore really hold their shape. So, you know, we can do that and it'll hold it and it holds its shape quite nicely. We can bend it around the wither and it holds its shape. So we can put it down and we can draw it. I'll show you in part two how to use it to actually measure your horse, where you should take the measurements from and how you should record it. So in the meantime, before that video comes up, get out and buy yourself a Flexico. Pay the extra for a really decent one like this, rather than a cheaper one that goes wibbly wobbly bendy or has a chain in the middle of it. Some of them you bend them and they let go and they go on their own accord. You don't want one of them for obvious reasons. You want one that when you bend it holds its shape and I do genuinely find these are the best. So before the next video, go out and buy yourself one of these and then what you'll do is you'll fold it in half and you'll find the centre point and then mark the centre point on there and then mark left and right. And then we'll take that for the next video. I'll show you how to use it correctly. I hope that little video was short and sweet but was of use to you. Now don't forget that I make videos all the time with lockdown coming, you know, coming to an end now and the weather perking up hopefully a little bit soon. We'll have lots of videos out and about on horses, in saddle fittings and things like that. So if you're at all interested in any of that, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with all my adventures. And we're gonna start getting some guests on as well in the videos. Hopefully we're able to go and visit some saddle factories as well now lockdown's coming to an end. We can go and look at some saddles being made, the processes of them being made, look at the trees inside them, because saddle factories are just the most incredible places to hang out and they smell mm, beautiful. I hope that little a short video about flexi curves was useful don't forget go out and grab yourself one now and then next week we're going to look at how to use one to get correct measurements of your horse so you can keep a good record of it it's not to fit a saddle to your horse it's nothing to do with saddle fitting it's about knowing the shape of your horse and how important it is to keep a track of your horse and how much they change so that when your saddle fitter comes out and says all oh, your horses change shape you can be like yeah i know i measured him so take care stay safe Lots and lots and lots of love.